Hi and welcome to this video. As you know, there are two ways to take information and data and customization from one environment to another. The first one is using the send to account. So for example, if you go to customization, workflows and workflows, you're going to see your list of workflows. You click on the one you want to send, maybe a customized workflow. You will see here there is a copy to account. Okay. Uh, However, there is something you need to know about this. If you go on the help of NetSuite, it will tell you uh, what is supported by this uh, copy to account feature. Now, it's going to tell you what you can and cannot send. So you will see that you can actually send custom records. You can send uh, dashboards. Okay, you, you can send specific elements from and to the sandbox and the live, but it's not all of them. Now, if we have a look here at this section, you will see uh, customization supported by Suite Cloud Development Framework. This is required whenever you need to do a copy to account. You will see here it says list records and fields. And you have to go and see the, the list of these uh, data here by clicking on each one of them. Now it says at the bottom, uh, import export, you know, your templates, your dashboards, portlets, your scripts, your plugins, centers and tabs, users, user roles, templates, etc. But it doesn't really say uh, workflow. And if you try to copy a workflow from a sandbox to live, you are going to get this error message. Okay, and this error message, uh, that's it, uh, are saying here, that these specific elements on NetSuite cannot be uh, sent by a copy to account and have to be uh, sent across using bundles. Okay, now how do we create a bundle? It's quite simple. Uh, you will go, first you have to make sure that the IDs of, the of whatever you created, the workflows, the fields, the forms, they are actually either on the other environment you're sending that to, so it can update it, or uh, that it's not there, so it's going to create it. But if it's there with another ID, it's going to duplicate the record. So you're going to have to be very careful, and this is why we're very adamant that whatever you create a custom field or a custom form or whatever workflow or script, that you make sure to put an ID to it that's very specific to what you did. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to customization, Sweet bundler and create bundle. Okay, from there, what you're going to do is you're going to name this bundle. Okay, and you can decide if you want to take everything from this account, you know, where you're creating the bundle from, the configuration, everything, or if you want to go uh, to specific um, records scripts or workflows. So you'll just click on next. You can put a description in there if you're thinking of maybe reselling this to different customers. You can set which uh, product this is uh, available on. If you want, you can also set a vertical. Now you can, you can scroll down and click on next. Now you're going to be able to select what it is you want to bundle. Okay, so here you'll go to workflows. And you're going to click on custom workflows and here you're going to find whatever it is workflow you want to send to your live click on it and then you will see it here now you can click on next and then you'll click on okay you you'll just see you, you see here for example there's a list of values within this uh, that, that this workflow is referring to. So it's going to bring the list across too. So that's why you want to make sure that the list, if it already exists, has the same values. Because if you did some work on the live and on the sandbox, you forgot to update these values, then this bundle will install on your production account. This is uh, true for everything else. So you see here, preserve data, replace data or merge data. Now, if you say preserve data, it means you're not going to change anything. You're going to keep it as it is. Replace, you're going to be replacing the production data with this um, bundle's data. And merge data is whenever you have something on your sandbox 
uh, data which is not on the live it's not going to replace the whole list it's just going to add whatever's missing okay so now you can click on save and what you're going to see here is you can modify the availability of your new bundle because what you did is you just created a bundle you didn't share it to any account so if you click on modify availability you will see here the bundle is private but you can share this to a specific account so maybe your production account and you don't want that to be visible by anyone who goes to customization suite bundles search and install bundles now there is a trick here uh, i was very surprised by this whenever i wanted to send something from production to sandbox uh, you will notice that your uh, NetSuite account ID is here on the top. You see here, for example, it's 19.53.903. But for your sandbox, maybe it's something else. Maybe for your sandbox, it's a, a SB uh, like this, 19.53.903-SB1. Uh, dash SB1. Okay. Now, uh, what you want to do is whenever you are trying to send something from production to the sandbox uh, there is something to note is that the dash is not a dash here on this bundle uh, account id this environment account id rather you have to put an underscore if you don't put the underscore uh, you're not going to be able to send it to the sandbox account now if you're you're already on the sandbox account and you're sending it to your production just remove the underscore sb one sb2 sb3 and just keep this value okay and then whenever you save this i'm not going to do it uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to now your whatever account you shared this to and you're going to go to customizations suite bundler search and install bundles now you're going to have to click on advanced because if it's coming from a sandbox environment you're going to have to look for sandbox account and then you're going to have to put your sandbox id and this is very important you cannot put the uh, dash one uh, sb one like this it's not going to find anything you have to put underscore sb one okay when you click on search it's going to find whatever uh, bundle was shared to your to, to the account that you're actually on when trying to install the bundle and you're going to be able to install it okay uh, that's all for today i hope this was useful to you if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and i will see you on the next video thank you and goodbye